three months, it's all been building up to Aspers really. It's probably the finest casino in the country. Fabulous venue, great city. Today the entrance fee is £100 plus £10 entry. Uh, that's it, it's a freeze out. Uh, they get 6,000 chips and when they lose the chips, they're off, they're out. You were, you were in the previous tournament, is that? Yeah, at the Western Club. My sister's the one that won me a ticket to play, so I didn't pay any fees or anything. And I came third. That's my lucky chip now. <laughs> I just love the game, you know? And I just live for poker, really. When I'm not playing it in casinos, I'm playing it on the, on the internet. Is this a living for you, or is it just fun? Well, I've always made a living at it, yeah. A little bit nervous, but, you know, I'm going to be really positive. I'm hoping to win, you know? Uh, can't come and think, oh no, I'm not going to win. You know, I've come, I've come to win. I find it very, very relaxing. You know, and it's a bit of me time, if you like. You know, it's my hobby. You know, don't take it too seriously. It's my advice. So you've come over here from Thailand. Yeah. Just, just for this. Yeah. Do you think playing online will help you to play with people? Yeah, I think so. You get to play every day, practice every day. Uh, you know. Um, Yes, it helps quite a lot. What's the balance between luck and judgment? I would say 90% luck, 10% judgment. Once you've got your luck, then it's down to how you play with your luck. This is my style of tournament. It's what I play best at. Large stack, uh, long blinds. This, this is my favourite type of tournament. And I've done quite well so far, so we'll see how it goes. I won the first one in Stoke, so um, I'm looking forward to today. I'm hoping I don't go out first, though. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to Aspers, everybody. Thanks for everybody making it up here for the Ladies' Best Fred Poker Tour. Has everybody found Newcastle all right? Yeah. Why aye? Why aye? <laughs> you've got a half hour clock, you've got 6,000 chips. Good luck, everybody. And dealers, shuffle up and deal, please. Your blinds are starting out at 25 and 50. I've only played two aims. I got lucky with, well, I got hit trip aces, I got pocket aces. And she had trip seven. Oh, look at Kim on the camera again. That's what I'm talking Hey, boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's had a harder life than you. The first player's gone. Unfortunately, it's my wife. She's a bit upset that she walked in a trip twice. Nothing much you can do about it, but uh, you know, you never like to be the first one out. I've tricked them all in, 1,200 chips. That's all I've got. She is king in it in ace. Can you do? It's going quite well, yeah. I just lost a few chips, but I'm still there, still playing. <laughs> There's now 56 people left, uh, so we've only lost a dozen. Um, I think we're starting to lose a few more now, because the anters will start to bite them a little bit. At the moment we've got two clear chip leaders. Cherie Joy, who is from Birmingham, she's got 17k. And the other young lady is Nikki Short, she's also got 17k. She's from Reading, good player, very, very strong. Average chips is under 8,000, so they're in a strong position already. But in the next hour, I expect to lose at least another table and a half. But it could go to the end, this one. Not going well? Not yet. Need some cards. I had no cards tonight at all. Had to bluff was the only way I was going to make chips. I finally hit cards on big blinds. I had ace-king. Somebody had raised pre before me with fives. Obviously, I didn't know they had fives. Went all in. First card out's an ace. The next card's a five. She hits a full house. What can you do? <laughs> next time. Next time. Even I have hand or don't have hand, I always love it. Uh, no serious face, always smiling. They don't realize whether I have hand or don't have hand. I always the same. I always love it. This is me. Mr. T. I'm Mrs. T. <laughs> Oh, that's going to clear this area, please, won't you? Did you hope for a stand there? I was certainly hoping for a stand there. <laughs> I didn't want a call, no. They seem quite cool about it. 
I think they're very cool, yeah. They're very relaxed. Uh, I know the guys play and they can be quite sort of, um, you know, aggressive with their play and aggressive maybe, you know, towards each other. But these are just laid back and they throw the chips in. They're just happy to be here and, uh, you know, they're enjoying themselves. At the same time, working towards that uh, over £2,500 first prize. How are you doing? How's it going? Uh, hang in there. Yeah. But nearly 9,000. Oh. Feel confident. Good. Speak to you later. <laughs> Bye. Okay. It wasn't going very well. I got right down to 2,000, but I've got right back up to 17 now. So, yeah. Came back with 17,000, and um, I haven't played a hand, but I'm still on 13 and a half on the next boat, but I haven't played anything. So, fingers crossed, I'll catch something there. Thank you. Yeah, we've uh, just given them a 15 minute break. We're down now to 32. So we're under halfway through the field. Everybody at the moment, bar two players, has got a chance to win this now. You're doing quite well, I hear. Yeah, apparently so. That's the chip leader there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were. No, I'm second, apparently. She's got about 3,000 more than me. You're on the same table, though. Yeah, it could be interesting. 6,800 prize money. Betford added a grand, 7,800. And the winner will go away with 2,660. The place in the final. 500 expenses, so tonight's tournament's worth over 3,000 to her. Down to the last 20 players now, so our final two tables, and they're basically now all just uh, playing towards making that final, you know, that final table. I'm still there with 13 to go. What odds will you give me? Even. With what you've got. Okay. Hey, dealers, I'm going to start now with 1,500, 3,000 now, and I'm going to be on again. Shuffle up and deal, please. Does it have quite a different game start to get there? Yeah, it's going to get very cagey now. When you get down to 12, two from the money, uh, people are going to be passing hands that they probably be playing, hoping that somebody will be knocked out before them. I had Ice Queen, she went all in. 18,000, then I took all my blues, it weren't worth the call. Well, she's got a reasonable stack, she, you know, she's, there's plenty of time for her, so there's no panic stations just yet. What was that a good start? I just looked at the time and it was my birthday. Don't, don't record that, that's really geeky. <laughs> I'm just taking anything as a good sign. <laughs> now it's slowing down. One player gone in 30 minutes. Normally, ro race, uh, Rosie's there. Three races, what happened to you, Rosie? I wasn't even in the pot. First time I've seen the one. I pass. The lines are now 2,000, 4,000. Oh, that Alright, well, what can I do? I've got the ace jack of spades, somebody's raised, I've, I'm forced to go all in because I'm short stacked. And the six is, the six is hold up. Hey. Come on, Sue. I raise again. Okay. Okay, we've got an all in situation on table two. I shouldn't have called. All in. All in. I might be going out now. It's a very interesting uh, phase of the tournament now. It's very, very tense. Once one person goes, there'll obviously be 11 players. That's what we call the bubble. That player that's eliminated is essentially one position away from making that all important final table and uh, taking home some cash. I've just taken a huge battering and I'm um, short stack now, so I had to push all in there with pocket eights. No callers, that's good. <laughs> I told you, stand up my window. You taught me this, you taught me. If I stand up my window, and so I did. You're not recording all this business. Oh, people think we're silly. Uh, Nikki's now doubled up, uh, leaving Enid uh, short stacked again. She's not going out. She does not want to go out. She'll keep pushing and she will make that final table. Definitely. Enid's all in with ace nine. Danielle has an ace queen. The ace queen is dominating the, uh, the ace nine. And it's all over. It's, the bubble's been burst. I'm lucky, Enid. Well played. Did my best. Can't do any more. <laughs> I couldn't pass. I tried. <laughs> she pushed with the ace nine from the small blinds. Danielle had ace queen. All right, all of this to say, shuffle up and deal, kid, please. Just a heart required. 
Oh. Noah Joy, Rats and Me's out. 10th oh, place for £200. Oh, yeah. wow. Sandra's all in. Up against the pocket kings of Limbo Months. Off suit, she's in bad shape. Oh. Oh. Spoke too soon. Trip queens for Sandra. I'm getting anteed away. I was sat with about 50,000. The blinds were five and ten thousand. I got ace ten of hearts in early position, decided to push. Unfortunately, someone had kings and called, and I didn't improve, and that was that. Had a good day, though. Yeah, it's been great. Lynn eliminated in seventh place. I had ace ten up against sevens, the sevens held up. She had queen jack and managed to hit trip queens. Um, so, been a bit unlucky, really. Danielle's all in. Pocket tens of Sue. And now required for Danielle. Ten. Ten. Another elimination. Danielle goes in sixth. I ended up going all in with uh, with nines, and unfortunately I ran into tens, and that's just the way it goes. Double up there for Sheree. Tens taking it so far. Queen 10 will take it, eliminating Su Chung in sixth place. I have a marvellous day. I really enjoy myself. So I will come again. It's been lovely. Absolutely anyone's game. No. Pocket threes for Kim. Ace Jack. Queen of Diamonds. Only a three will do it for Kim. Sam doubles up with an absolute monster hand. And that is going to be a huge chip lead now for Sam. Uh, Kim's been crippled. We estimate that she now has a chip count of about 172,000 off what is a total of 411,000 chips in play. With five players, that's just a huge lead, and now it's very, very commanding. Kim takes her hand. Good game. Cherie's eliminated in fifth place. Well played. I needed someone to call because I needed to try and double up, didn't I? But she had a pair, so she won there. But this is really tough now. And as far as somebody uh, looks like they're going out, they're finding a miracle card. And at the moment, any one of these three can win it. It was an all-in bet from from Nikki Short. She's um, she's short right after the, after the previous hand. Superb, thank you. <laughs> The two Teesside girls. I said it would be a local winner, didn't I? All in with King Jack against King Queen. And the flop came all small cards and the King Queen wins. And it could be close to being over. You've got his covers? You've got a covers? Come on, you get it. Come on, come on, come I've always wanted to be in a women's final, and this is the only way I could do it. Women's tournament. There's been a lot of pictures today. It's hard keeping a smile. <laughs> just, just look at that. That should make Ooh, you smile. Oh, yeah. I'm in shock, actually. I'm just in shock. Samantha Grayson. Yeah. £2,630 and a nice trophy. And congratulations. Thank you very much.